What is up guys, Jared Campisi here with my main man Dotto and this is the second episode of the Carbon Panigale series. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a series where we take this beautiful 1299 Ducati Panigale, customize it with your support and give it away when we're done. Huge shout out to Moto Million for hooking us up with all these parts. We could not have done this build without them. If you guys want to get involved, support and be a part of this series, patreon.com slash campeasy customs. You can support for as little as $5 an episode. Once we're done, we're going to be giving it away. Welcome to episode two. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The manager's out here. We let him out of the paperwork cave. Look at him drool. He is drooling everywhere. Here's something that's gonna blow your mind, guys. So in the video you're watching now, I'm gonna publish the video that you've already seen. <laughs> huh? You like that? You like that, Dotto? It's like time travel for dummies. <laughs> so there it is, published. If you guys haven't seen the Miss Motorama bikini contest video and fan meetup, go and watch that right now. Well, actually, watch it after this video. We're not doing anything, bud. Touching the bikes. He doesn't like when you touch the bikes. I'll start this up, though, Zer. <laughs> you better calm your ass. Sorry, bro. No, here, get over here. I can't this. work. <laughs> get over here. The poster said, you want us to walk away from it? He's is growling. This, is this better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's really... <laughs> Dozer knows this is an expensive project, so he's like, he, I gotta watch over every single thing they're doing. <laughs> he doesn't want Dotto breaking stuff. Operation Disassemble the Bike has begun. Christina is doing the one thing that she can do. Whoa, I could do more than you Which can. is nothing. Look how good her actually She looks. can do more than I can. You, sir. You, sir, deserve a high life. <laughs> Look how small it looks in your hand. <laughs> Midget hands. So he was turning that, so basically, if that's sticking out and then we touch it or something, then it's not gonna like cut us, you know, because it was just a cut piece of metal that he, that he cut up, so All right, I'll let me help you. So, Dotto just made a uh, stand for us since we didn't have a single-sided swing arm stand. It's a Dotto made. It's a Dotto made. So, it looks nice, actually. And it's super, super sturdy because we got eight points of contact there with four on each side. Not going anywhere, and now it's time to start taking this bitch apart three hours later. <laughs> So today, the bulk of this episode is going to be getting to the exhaust. We want to get this stock exhaust off, right? If we can, if we have enough time. Um, see how far we get. Yeah, we'll see how far we get. We're just going to start taking the bike apart. We're going to baggy everything and label it. The baggies are over there. And um, make sure everything's labeled. So we, we literally put these screws exactly where they came off of. And then this is the last time you're going to see it in red form, guys, because the next time we put the fairings back on, we're gonna be putting the matte carbon fiber fairings on. I'm just gonna spray paint them. <laughs> yeah, we're actually just spray painting these. So, this brings back memories, doesn't it, guys? People were complaining on YouTube, what are you doing, another Panigale? Well, first of all, guys, Panigales are amazing. Second of all, we are gonna be doing a completely different build for this. So, you know, we didn't do a full system on the other bike. We didn't do full carbon fiber on the other bike. We didn't do carbon wheels on the other bike. I mean, this is gonna be a completely different build. So, um, the other thing is guys, when you, people are always like, you know, do dirt bikes and do, you know, like random bikes. I'm like, you have to do bikes that are sought after. You have to do dream bikes, you know? We need people who are gonna support these builds or we can't do them, so. Do a Grom. Yeah, like do a Grom. Like seriously, really, a Grom. Like, people could just go out and buy those bikes. The whole point of this series is doing bikes that people couldn't buy, you know? Like, a lot of people couldn't afford to buy a 1299 Panigale, myself included, you know? And so that's why we wanted to do high-end, beautiful, exotic sport bikes. So, we're gonna be here twisting these fairing bolts out for a little while. For four days. For 14 days. What are you doing, Donna? Oh, being miserable, because you're miserable. You're making everybody miserable. <laughs> okay. For this build, since we are going to be taking apart the motorcycle a lot at the same time, we're bagging absolutely everything. I'm tagging it because I won't bag remember. Tag. Bag and tag. I won't remember where everything goes. So all the baggies are gonna be spread on here and all the fairings and all the other parts are gonna go over here with all these other goodies. Dude, that's hilarious. Do you see what this is? Do you guys remember what this is? Holy fuck. It's a, it's a grommet. It's a grommet They lost the windscreen. They Joe lost. told me he lost a couple of these. And one just fell out of the bottom. <laughs> so uh, we are going to peel this off because I absolutely hate how it looks. 
And we're gonna keep it because everyone's like, oh, there's the chain adjustments on there. You can find it online, just like you can find anything online. But we will keep it just in case. We're gonna put on this piece of cardboard and then we're gonna glue the cardboard back see, on see the bike. Better, Look how much better that <laughs> Look looks. Look at that, guys. guys. Custom. Perfect. I think I got this all unclipped here. If I remember how to do it. I don't, I don't remember. Oh. And this slides out one of these ways. There it is. That's a, I'm not a huge red fan, honestly, which is weird because I'm Italian and I love Ducatis, but they did a good job with this. It looks really nice. I think Calp shined it all up for us too, so thank you guys. Oh, I even ordered a, a set, two sets of uh, full Panigale stickers. So I got a silver set like this, and I also got a uh, black set so we can go stealth mode or we can go regular standard. So we'll do that once we get the carbon fairings on, but there's one side off. So little Fuck. trick guys, or is this, what are these called? Bushing? What a Fuck it, Jerry. What is this? It's a bushing. A bushing, oh wow, I'm learning stuff. Uh, they'll fall, they'll pop out if you don't uh, zip tie them or something. So Dotto said, we'll zip tie that guy on there. That way it doesn't come out. But when we're working, I can't deal with this. <laughs> I'm just drinking. You know what? Screw it all. <laughs> no, you you host this. That was the funniest thing ever. Somebody else host. You know what, Jerry? Fuck it. I'm crying. <laughs> Christina hasn't. She's been sitting over there sulking the entire time. I thought she left. Shit. She hates Pennsylvania. She and turns me. around for one second to start paying attention to what we're doing. Dado's unhooking this because we were just there and it's four volts. It's still hooked on something. It's hooked on phonics. It's hooked on phonics. There you go. And Dotto's removing that, his Tron helmet. <laughs> that actually works. It does look really good, actually. It's it even matches your hair. And uh, Christina starts yelling at him. Why are you looking at that, Jared? This wasn't, you were supposed to be playing this build out. And like all of a sudden, now she cares all of a sudden. She's been sitting there and hasn't said a Turn word. Around. Why isn't the exhaust on yet? Good God. Ridiculous, guys. I, I, so Teens is gonna take over this rest of this build. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film. She's gonna take over. So, fairing number two is done. Dotto got this bushing zip tied, and we're moving right along. Teens, are you filming? All right. She starts filming after I already took all the damn bolts off, and then everyone complains. Jerry doesn't do any work. Why is it called Camp Easy Customs? It should be called Dotto Customs. Well, guess what, guys? Teens doesn't film me when I'm doing work. God damn it. We're taking the exhaust off. Well, at least the freaking. I just got done taking bolts off, and Jerry goes, let me slide in there so Teens can start filming. <laughs> Look, and then she starts coming over here and filming whenever we're not doing anything interesting. He's trying to find which thing fits it. Look at her. Yeah, now she's like, I'm in, I'm in on it, guys. I got this. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Dotto. Oh, dude, we gotta take this rear set off. We don't have to take the rear set Bullshit. off. Bullshit. Do you need me to come over there? Yeah, go, come over here. Show me how awesome you are. Let's see how awesome Dotto is, guys. You're so full of shit. <laughs> Dotto's gonna lose it. Oh, he got it! I loosened it, guys. I totally, I totally loosened that. Oh, this thing's gonna drop off. Yes, it isn't. It isn't? It is. Yes, it isn't. So I was right. Oh, there it goes. Hold up. Got it. Yeah! Fuck that exhaust. See, this is the hole we went through before. <laughs> this is the hole we finger blasted with Schmuck's exhaust. All right, so we took the exhaust grommets off and obviously these have been off before. So this one's ripped the whole way. This one here is ripped, well, the whole way. <laughs> you don't think that could happen just from shaking? No, no, no off? way. And then there's an exhaust leak right here. You can see that black spot. So it wasn't really tightened enough. I probably would have lost some power on the dyno, huh? Maybe a little bit, but yeah. these grummets, grummets, definitely 20 horsepower grummets. loss. Grummets. So, um, the, <laughs> the Acker system, the full titanium Acker system that we're gonna be replacing the stock system, um, it won't use a servo valve. So this entire assembly here, we can just remove and it's not gonna be back on the bike. So that's what we're doing right now. We're taking this off and there it goes. And then the cable that goes to this motor that opens up this valve, that's all gonna be gone because the full system does not utilize that. We don't need that. No. Screw that thing. We don't need that. But we did find a proper mount for this label here, so that, at least that's back off for the new user. 
That's got to come out, and then we can pull this guy out and disconnect the cable. So we don't need that whole thing? We don't need that whole thing. Wow. So the, the, t the full Acura titanium system saves 12 pounds, I believe. So... But I don't really... know if they include all the stuff that you take off. I think it, that's just exhaust oh, for exhaust. Just, oh, so oh, like okay. the brackets and the hardware oh, nice. and the motor. So we're saving even more. Yeah, I think, I think we should get like a precision scale so we can actually weigh this stuff and compare it. So we had a million people that brought up a good point when Dotto was talking about the weight loss. Of course, Dotto always has good points. He does have good points. Um, I had a lot of comments on the first video saying, weigh the bike before and after, all the parts and blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the thing, guys. We know that the stock wet weight, that means on the street weight of the Panigale is 420 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is every part that we put on, it tells you how much that part saves. Like the exhaust, for example, is 12 pounds. The wheels are 12 pounds or whatever it is. I don't know the exact statistics, but we'll look them up when we put them on. So we'll just subtract them from the stock weight, which is 420 pounds. Uh, there is one line for the fan. Don't unplug that and leave it unplugged. Yeah. So that's gotta go back in there. And then this other one here, we can disconnect. Go ahead, Jared, finish your story. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do with the weight loss. That's how we're gonna handle it. We're just gonna subtract each part we put on there from the stock wet weight that Ducati provides for the bike, which is all the parts with a three-quarter gas, three-quarter tank of gas. So, you know, it's gonna be pretty simple. We know we're pretty much saving 30 pounds off the bike. Are we gonna have an exact weight? No, but whatever, it'll be close enough. <laughs> Servo motor's off. How heavy is that? Uh, I don't know. Pound or two? Yeah. We gotta get this bracket off. We gotta pull the battery out, the grounds have to come off, the tray has to come out, the cover has to come out, just so we can get to the bolts to take this entire assembly out because we have to get to the front header bolts. Which is like way up in there. Yeah. Alright, so while, we're, while we were here, Dotto went ahead and unhooked the battery and got the battery unhooked because we have a super light battery. Dude, feel how heavy this is. Oh wow. We need Jesus. to get a scale. Yeah, we do need to get a scale. Well, I know what the difference is. It was three and a half pounds from the uh, battery that Manny sent us from Moto Million, which will always be linked in the description below. So Dotto's in there with his sausage fingers and this little stubby wrench and apparently getting the, what is the manifold bolts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no way, I could have probably spent three hours and I couldn't got one of those things. So we gotta get four of them now. Three. Three of them. I don't know if he'll be able to do it. What do you guys think? Drop comments below if you think he'll be able to get to them without removing that entire assembly. Someone let the fire go out. Dotto. So Jared's over here getting it going again. Look at the cool little smoke things that are being blown through the cardboard. It's freaking awesome. All right, so what's up, Dotto? The front manifold bolts are really tied up in there. There's this charcoal canister in the way. Take this little rubber thing down. It should come right out. Yep. And then also this uh, breather line. We can pull that up through. Move this out of the way. And then now we still can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> so this little bracket that holds the charcoal canister had to come out completely. It was a pain in the ass, but guess what? The bolts hey, are now right there. there they hey! Are. They don't tell you to do any of that on the instructions no, they for don't. some reason. They're, They're just... like, you see these bolts? Take them out. <laughs> Magically take those bolts and out. And I was like, come on, bolts, please just undo yourself. It didn't work, so no. <laughs> didn't work, so then Jared tried it. <laughs> so guys, I'm unscrewing my first ever exhaust header manifold bolt. I think that's what it's called. Dotto, is that right? That's right. Holy oh, shit. You might not have the strength oh. for it, Dotto. No, I got it. I got that fucker. He's all on his own. No oh. This is like a true test, you know? Oh my <laughs> lord. I'm gonna take over from here, guys. I'm firing my mechanic. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Look, I got a hook. Army mateys. By the way, I almost, <laughs> oh, you almost missed Oh, by the way, ow. <laughs> no, my head's super small, so anything I wear, like a hat or glasses or anything, just look, makes me look like a cartoon character. Even he more goes, than wear safety goggles if you're gonna stab yourself in the forehead. <sighs> Holy shit. Dude, don't pull the bike off the stage. Dotto, cool. calm down. Hey, what are you gonna label that as? Dotto's bitch spring. No, not Dotto's bitch spring. <laughs> this thing's starting to, oh, it's starting to wiggle. We're getting a wiggle. The whole 
biker's way line. <laughs> this is gonna be something special. Oh, on the other side, Everybody the other gets a slinky. Off. There isn't a spring on the other side, Dotto. It's a twin, okay? We're not working with four cylinders here. <laughs> There's no pipe over there. The other side. <laughs> there is no pipe on the other side. Yes, there is. No, it's right here. <laughs> That's what it is. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even see it. Can you see me? See you. Can you see me? Can you see my guns? Do my guns look big? Does this angle make my guns All look right. big? I'm taking springs off, guys. Because people always complain I don't do anything. It's because Teens doesn't film me. Oh, don't blame me. Who am I going to blame? Ghostbusters. Holy shit, how am I going to get this one? It's not going to come off, right? Oh my god. Look at that, guys. We almost got the pipe off. Are you taking that out? It's really crunchy in there. Be careful. Hurt yourself. It's coming. It's coming. I feel like it's a baby. Oh, it's born. <laughs> <laughs> Unscrewing the O2 sensor. Is this the only one? Or is there another one? It's the only one I see. There it is. And they, they, they tell you to put that back on, right? Yeah, we're going to leave it. We're going to zip tie it right here so like the new user can get the, the oxygen experience. experience. Yeah, yeah, the oxygen experience. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so it was impossible to get all the way up in there. So what I did was I just did one bolt off this fan shroud here so I can move this back. Got a universal joint with a 10 millimeter with a long extension. <laughs> I used the, the smallest um, ratchet drive so I can fit it through here. So basically, you just get it up in there. I actually use this for leverage. Oh I use the wrench to get leverage. And then it just undid it, so now I can unscrew it and the manifold will be off. Unbelievable. I'm going to help him because it's going to drop whenever he unscrews it. I can pull this off? You can pull it off now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a stock exhaust removed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't forget and we that. reuse this, right? Yeah, the stock heat shield gets reused. And I'm not sure if they supplied us. We haven't even opened the exhaust yeah. yet, but the uh, factory gaskets, they're nice metal. Yeah, that is I don't, nice. I don't know if they're, they're, if we're gonna reuse these or they supplied us with new ones. We'll see. Dad, has got another crazy extension going on over here. I love how on the instructions they just say remove these bolts. You know, they don't say. Uh, Hopefully, you have the world's largest garage outside of your house. <laughs> I went outside to take a piss, and this is what's going on. Where'd that go? No idea. What are you doing? What exactly are you doing here? Can you well, explain yourself, bud? This was halfway out, taken halfway out, and it looks like some of the threads are jacked up. Oh, wow. So the thread, the red thread locker that somebody hit in there is rock solid. So when I went to take it out, it got stuck. So I had to pound it out. But now it's out. Good work. Deans hasn't even been in this video. Look at her. She's so destroyed from the pageant this weekend, aren't you, babe? I'm wiped She out. did so good. We're so proud of her. Um, next thing we're doing is taking off the rear fender because we have a carbon fender and it's in the way with what we're trying to do right now. It'll give me much. a little bit more room. I already got two of the rear manifold bolts off. Which the is third one is all the way up at the top, tucked up through this right little pipe. There. I'm gonna get that. So we're gonna need to take this off, Dotto? Through the Narnia closet. <laughs> through the Narnia um, closet. Yes, because I feel like it. Yeah. This uh, this system we got going, guys, with the uh, labeling, makes me feel so good. Because usually Dotto is sitting over there, half drunk, staring at bolts, <laughs> wondering where the hell they go. I'm kidding. But look at this. Look at this, guys. Rear fender bolts. We got everything bagged and lined up because now we have space. Because Dotto cleaned this thing up. We got everything stacked over here. All the stock parts. Freaking badass, man. I feel good. Feels good to work in a clean garage, you know? We even got the DR symbol on here for Dotto Rados. Look at him. He's trying to take over my channel. You son of a bitch. I don't have to take Why over. Why is it D backwards? Because that's what he does, Dotto. That's my logo. Because his whole life's backwards. Dude. <gasps> Christina has completely lost her mind. She's done absolutely nothing. Do you nothing want this tool? It. I got you if you want and this tool. And then she comes over here and starts asking us if we want these tools. Meanwhile, Dotto's taking apart manifold bolts. Did you get it? Holy shit, here we go, folks. I gotta get the oxygen sensor yet. Oh, okay, here, I got the, I got the tool. No, that's not the tool I need. There it is, I got it. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Here it is. This is the fucker we need right here. Let me take it off. 
Dude, I'll do it. I already loosened it. You were doing your makeup again. You're a dick. <laughs> wow. Angles. We got them. Look at that thing, dude. Looks like a snake, like a cobra. It looks like a neck pillow for when you fly. <laughs> it does. Look at those piss or um, look at those valves. Oh wow. Those are the desmodronic valves. There's four of those. Those are exhaust valves. That are not controlled by springs like other engines. That's what makes these so freaking cool. What are they controlled by? A desmodronic system that literally rotates and it, that's what brings the valves up and down. You didn't know that. So in order to get the heat shield off, uh, we got all the bolts off except there's one way up underneath there. So you gotta take the seat off and then take all this crap off just to get to the bolt that's right underneath this, right? That's right. That's right, so we're still going. This is all just to get the stock exhaust removed, which is almost done, but it's been a while. No, it's not. No? Why not? After that heat shield's out, it's, the stock exhaust is gone, right? We didn't drink enough yet. We didn't drink enough beer, you're right. Teens, give me a beer. Mm -hmm. She's over here playing her baking game. Look, no, I not. caught her. No, I'm I not. caught her. No, I'm uh huh. Not. I'm you got busted. I'm. I what are you know doing? You just did not answer she for it. She doesn't have an answer for it. I'm researching. Oh. Start for the Ducati. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Come on. God, it smells like gas, man. Okay, so there's a ground wire. I'm gonna take the fuel pump harness off. Try not to break this. Yeah, please. Those big sausage fingers. Okay, we're gonna slowly lift it. There is fuel lines that are hooked. Jarrett, remember how to take this off? No, because remember we just plugged, we just, we just. Propped it up? Yeah, okay, so for this, we're probably gonna end up taking the whole tank off. But for now, we can prop it. But for now, Jarrett wants to just prop it. This is the last bolt for the exhaust? This is it. There it is, guys. After six hours, we are undoing the last bolt for the stock exhaust, and then it'll be completely removed. There it is. That goes with the heat shield one? Yep. Here's this. Heat shield. I'm gonna try. We're almost gonna have to pull this forward. The sensor has to come out. Oh. That's okay, we'll grab those. And then have to come out. <laughs> so the last thing we're doing for today is covering up the exhaust holes, Port. ports, and the intake as well because you don't want anything getting in any of those because that would be very bad. Yeah, I was working on a Virago once and somehow a wood screw made it down one of my cylinders. It sounds like a box of rocks <laughs> banging around. No, yeah, you don't want that happening. Yeah. All right guys, so it is late on a Monday night and um, I'm really happy with what we got done today. The entire stock exhaust is removed along with some other stuff that we really didn't even need to do, but we're gonna need to be taking the whole thing apart anyway. This build is a lot more organized from the start. I love having all the parts. We can do things correctly. Shout out to Moto Million, Manny, for hooking us up with all the parts. Um, so that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Episode two is done. Again, if you wanna be a part of this build, support, and be entered to win this bike when we're done, head on over to patreon.com slash customs, read how it all works, see if it's something that you wanna be a part of. I think that's about it for this one. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.